Hey guys, Paperclip here again. I'm gonna be playing some more Hearts of Iron for today. It's Nationalist Spain, where we just finished taking over Portugal. It's 58% world tension right now. World tension's pretty high. Um, we do almost have full supplies again, so I might want to go through here, find the ones of these that aren't fully trained up yet and start getting them training again. You guys are gonna garrison those two. You know what? That and that. You're gonna be on exercise. All you guys go ahead and get to it. Uh, another thing I think we should do is we should probably, I mean, we are making motorized right now. We currently have 48 motorized. We do still need more than that. How's construction going? We are repairing a civilian factory and then a dockyard. That's, that's good. We do need to do that. Um... then after that that's gonna go to the bottom so is that I'd like to get military factories that you know what this one can stay up there there we go this didn't take long at all for it to for it to complete we still need more steel we could go ahead and tell the Germans we want another shipment of steel every month and they will they will do it um we could do nationalism then we'll get militarism which would give us 5% recruitable population which is going to be nice to have it would be better to have a military factory right now nah we need to get this done having quite a surplus of infantry equipment now so what I'm gonna do is scale back on that and scale up on that and let me just make sure something real quick you guys you do have the artillery okay cool you guys have engineers you need artillery you guys don't have anything you should get artillery you guys have artillery and the engineer guy. Well, you should also have a logistics company. You guys should also have a logistics company. You guys should also have a logistics company. You guys should have a logistics company and support artillery. And you should also be bigger than what you are. We'll make them 20, why not? Uh, their speed is going to be, where is that? Max speed, 12 kph. It's not too bad. Now this is gonna cost us more artillery, support equipment, and motorized, but that's fine. Do we have a motorized division? Why are we down in motorized? We have a division of motorized? Where? I see no divisions of motorized anywhere. There's no motorized in there, no motorized in there, no mo- Oh, it's because the logistics company requires motorization. Okay, see, I get it now. Uh, let's get the tank designer because the next thing I'm gonna do after radio is probably get some tanks up and going. Alright, you guys don't need to be here anymore. You guys should all go into the training group. Ah, shit. 
I should have got the better recruitable population because now it's going to take us like 140 days before we can get it. Well, 110, look. It's still quite a while to sit on no manpower because I can't train any of these divisions while I don't have the manpower to actually put them out. Like, none of these guys have, like, any manpower. What do we need now? We need oil. We import eight, we need five. Fine. We're banging that motorized pretty quickly. What do we need now? We need more rubber? Really? We should only need 8 rubber. Why do we need more than 8 rubber? That's a lie. We only need 8. It says right here. Oh, or is that just how much we're using? Fine. Another damn thing of rubber. set that one on priority and after that you're gonna do another supply all right so now we can do militarism which will get us an extra five percent recruitable population we have a couple seasoned people in here now couple people who are not fully trained though. I'm not sure how they got in there. Or did I just overlook them? I might have just overlooked them last time. I know we're missing fighter production. I'll get there, don't worry. I'd rather get better fighters first, though. So maybe I'll do better fighters after this instead. I probably will. Alright, you should start working on the 1936 fighters. They're still a little behind in times, but... We need to get some kind of planes, at least. About halfway to getting an extra 5% recruitable population. We'll get 20 army experience from that. Not that that really matters too much, but we will get it anyway. thing we could do is we could start training some motorized divisions and tell them to go into there. We probably lack a lot of motorized, yeah we do, but we do make 10 motorized every day, which is only getting higher and higher. Probably up to like 12.5, 13 motorized a day, maybe even 15 when it's fully done. Free civilian factories. Alright, so that means we gotta get them doing stuff. Start making more military factories because we need a lot more. So 
we gotta start making planes and stuff too. So if I can get like another six, that'd be good. There we go. Now we have a ton of recruitable population. Um. Go for the armament effort. All right, so now. aircraft designer. That'll be fine. Because that should make us get planes done faster. Free military factories. Alright, we'll continue to pump out more. You know what? Two more motorized. Two more infantry equipment. What? Never mind on the infantry, but just two more motorized. Then hopefully we'll be done the plane before we get all those other factories up and going. And when you guys are done. do that on the north and the west coast. Try and prevent England from landing a bunch of troops down here. I'll more heavily guard this and that and then I'll just sparsely guard this. On the computing machine. Wonderful. We could start doing encryption stuff or we could work on these. Let's work on the signal company. It's pretty useful. Or we could start getting tanks done, which I think we should do. So I'd like to at least have some light tanks and stuff like that. I mean, we still got a little less than a year to prepare for uh, Germany probably declares war on Poland. I think they made it so you can only boost your own party's popularity. That's fair. You used to be able to boost whatever you wanted. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I just keep needing more and more stuff. We're going to need to start making civilian factories again. See, I'm not even doing 15 of these anymore. So yeah, do do some civilian factories. Alright, I'm 
almost done the fighter. Ah, another month and a half. There's that. Let's get the infrastructure and then we'll get the construction effort. Then we can get that and then we can get the extra research slot. So Japan's pushing back pretty good now, so that's good. Should we work on the next one or should we do something else? I say we start doing weapons too. I think I'm only going to do two more because I need to do the military factories because it's 1939. If I wait too much longer, it's just it's going to turn out pretty bad. I mean, we do have all the equipment we need besides fighters, so there is that. They're trying to influence our politics. But we do have daily fascism support and collectivist ethos, which reduces how effective they are at doing this. More concessions have been forced onto of Romania with Bulgaria claiming southern annexed by Romania in 19 the second Balkan War. Turks. Alright, the fighter one's done. So Bulgaria got what? These two? Yeah, it looks like it. It's nothing too awesome. It only has one unlocked slot. But it is free stuff for him, so it's probably pretty useful. Uh, let's start doing the signal company. And now that we have the fighters, level one, I'm going to set them up here. We're going to say start producing five. Um, we'll knock that back a little bit. I mean, I really don't need to be producing any more infantry equipment really like at all right now. So now we do this, you'll get a boost, you'll get a boost, you'll get a boost. We have a ton of motorized as well, so we should probably make like two more motorized divisions being trained. I mean, if we're making that much motorized, we probably should, right? We need more aluminum. Holy shit, do we need a lot more aluminum. Which means we have even less civilian factories now. Wonderful. Might as well just start garrison everything else around it.
Fail, what am I doing? Uh, construction effort. And then you... We'll do concealment, because we probably won't have air superiority. That way we don't get hit as hard with enemy air superiority. What do we need now? We need more rubber. We're gonna have to live with it. I'm not getting more. I'll do I'll knock that back one. Or two. And we'll do that. There we go. Now we don't need rubber. People's Republic of China capitulated. So now they just have to make China capitulate. Are they in the Axis? No, they're not. We've done the Great War tanks. Now we're going to work on the light tank. Before we start producing them, I'd like to at least have the tank for freaking, what is it, 1936. If I can get that tank, then I'll start producing tanks. It's not that great, but I don't want to produce a 1934 tank against someone who probably has at least 1936 tanks. There's really no point in my opinion. There's that. So let's get this. Might have to get the fascist demagogue at some point. Because he's going up by 0 0.08 every month right now. Better infantry equipment right there. Let's get working on support weapons too. As far as production goes, we're going to start making better infantry equipment, which means we're going to scale that up. Scale this back, scale this back. How surplused are we on toy artillery and support equipment? Not, not hugely, but enough to where I feel like doing that isn't going to kill us. I'm also going to knock that back. I knocked that back by one. Can I get rid of one of these? Yeah, I can get rid of one of these. Which means I now have 14 civilian factories helping out.
think this is going to be my last brigade of motorized. Because I'll have 10 motorized then once that's fully done. It's not a ton, but I think it's good enough. Which also means once I get this done, I can greatly scale back my production of motorized to like three factories and just start trying to pump out the better infantry equipment. Because that'll help us fight a lot better if we can get as much of that into the field as possible. Infrastructure effort, okay, cool. Let's get the extra research slot. Now I'm gonna go with the daily fascism support guy. Ensure that we stay fascist. So we're done the signal company. We can work on the better logistics guy. I think we should. Did I put... Yeah, you guys have a logistics guy. Good. Good, good, good. You guys all join up there. All you guys who have lost some of your experience I'm gonna join back up here and I think pretty soon we're gonna end up end up at war scale this back and I'd like to just start doing some more inventory equipment. The next five factories. So these next three we get will just go straight into making more infantry equipment level two. So that's slowing down the production of our convoys, but I'm not too worried about that because we make a lot of com. We have a lot of convoys. We have 252 convoys. 267 convoys actually. That's the only thing we would need. We do have a surplus of oil, so I could go ahead and get rid of one of these. We have a surplus of aluminum, so I could go ahead and get rid of one of these. That'll free up some more civilian factories, so now we can pump out these even quicker. Oh, you guys join up with him, because you're all back to full experience. Alright, good. How are we doing on these guys? We're going to get another batch coming out probably in the next month. That'll be good. How are we doing on the light tanks? They are done. Awesome. Start doing the next level of light tank.
and then we'll start producing those. We got the extra research slot done. That's awesome. Uh, let's start getting improved artillery. We can go ahead and get yet another research slot. I think that's a great idea. We apparently need, we still need just steel. That's okay. I don't care if the convoys are produced a little slower. Support weapons are done. That's good. So yeah, now we're starting to go through a lot of tech a lot quicker. Um, we can get the better mountain infantry. What else could we do? More doctrine. Get some air doctrine. Start doing some industry stuff. Do a hundred and a hundred. How many more do we have? One. Yep, so that'll be good. I mean, we don't have a lot of planes. We have 213 planes, where France has anywhere from 418 to 1,000. He has anywhere from 1,000 to 3,000. He has anywhere from 1,500 to 2,250. He has 500 to 775. He barely has any. He has 1,500 to 2,600. He doesn't have too much. He doesn't have a lot. He doesn't have a lot. He is, doesn't have a lot. Neither does he. Finland has none. Sweden has some. United States has quite a bit. Canada has like none. Army of 59 people now, though, so that's pretty nice. We're still outnumbered by most people by quite a lot. Like the United Kingdom, eh, he has about what we have. France has more than what we have, though. The London Conference. Alright, so our last unit of motorized came out. That's good. Which means we should start probably making something else a little more heavily. We'll start making more infantry and more mountaineers. So we've only made about 10,000 infantry level 2. What are we currently constructing? All the naval forts, okay. I think they're going to be a good idea to have, but... I'd rather have a couple more military factories first. There we go, we got another research slot. Start doing advanced machine tools. We we'll start going down here. We probably should, because that'll give us a 20% boost in popularity of fascism, so it'll 
undo a lot of what he's doing here. Let's go ahead and get the military theorist. Let's go ahead and start working on some more land doctrine. Now we need quite a bit of steel now. So I will go ahead and get more steel. As far as the motorized goes, I don't really think we need to produce much at all now. And the planes, we have 75 extra. So let's knock that one back one too. We have a good amount of artillery and support equipment, so I'm going to knock that back as well. Try and make more infantry equipment. Alright, so start making the improved artillery now. put two, we'll put a couple down here, that way we at least make a couple a day. We'll do that, that way the next one goes into that and the next one will go into improve artillery. And we're gonna do another research real quick, which is, I mean we could do that. It's barely ahead of time at all. Let's just do it. And that's where I'm going to call this an episode. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. But until then, bye-bye.